Chira Gabriel is the principal assistant secretary. Serene local government commends the work of Park Uganda in the areas of governance and accountability and says this has helped in fighting corruption at the local government level. Because of the interventions of Park in those areas, we can now see very clear outputs from projects. We can now see quality structures in the place in terms of classroom blocks, the teachers' houses, the health houses, it latrines. First, they are focusing more on value for money. Gabriel asked Park Uganda to continue empowering district local councils as a remedy to good governance and accountability at grassroots level. There are issues I feel that PAC should continue to do. One, PAC should continue empowering the district councils, the sub county councils, and the local, local councils at the grassroots level, like levels ones and levels twos. In terms of capacity building, capacity building to strengthen areas of governance, and also to strengthen areas of accountability of any government funds that have been dispersed. Two, PAC should continue promoting these citizen parliaments. These are like barassas, citizen hearing platforms. These platforms are very good. Because it can help say that Ms. Otira already here did not perform well in this area and they need to correct. Two, I think the quality work was not done in this area because these people are, these people, the, the, the projects are with the men, with the people of the community, the projects are with the community, the people are with these projects, the people should own these projects, the people should sustain these projects. Now, where they see should work, then to me they should come up during this barrister, this season here for parliaments and raise these matters. So that's what should continue. The other issue should also strengthen their monitors. These monitors are very good. These monitors are like, like I call them watchdogs, like informers. They are not coming to interfere with the service delivery, but are coming to say, yes, much as government as a project here, as intervened here, but however, works not moving on well. Something should be done, something should be corrected. That's why these monitors are very, very important, of paramount importance when it comes to service delivery. But they are like a check. Okelo Jerry is one of the beneficiaries of Park Uganda training on good governance, which he says has helped him to play an oversight role as a local leader, especially for government programs. Okelo goes ahead to observe that with the empowerment he got from the trainings, they tasked the high authorities at the district to transfer a head teacher of Cherry Secondary School in Cherry Town Council because of shoddy works at the only government-aided school in the area. I trained with the park on various activities, access to information, citizens mobilize, community mobilization, and also empowering communities. Uh, it happened that uh, it was around 2017. Of course, we had a couple of activities by then, but the one that I remember most that really uh, brought value to park is that, and the community is that the community was sensitized. We were put in a, uh, a group, and of course, those are citizens' parliament. It's called the Kiera Citizens' Parliament. So we had an issue in the community. It was a school, uh, Kiera Secondary School. Uh, it's one of the model schools in, in Kiera, and also one of the best schools in Serere District. It happened that one time, our head teacher uh, stubbornly, uh, at the end of the term, wrote such a last and said, uh, all students have been given report cards except to those who have not paid school fees. So as soon as I was trained by a fee and park Uganda on access to information, I also started getting information that students were not given report cards and because the teacher had not paid them, especially those on PT and the marks, actually the teachers had not marked the exams. Tried looking around, seeing the solutions, approaching the head teacher, but the teacher couldn't really do what he couldn't really respond. So we called it for we called to the community. I, as the speak, as the, the chairperson of the neighborhood assembly, I told my NA members. 
then I involved with the school actually the PTA. PTA is that body that uh, really connects the parents and the teachers association and all the sort. So we went for a meeting discussing issues affecting the school because now the school was going low. Even the structures themselves were in actually getting cracks. The school was collapsing and also we had proposed for the fencing and the money was paid. We tasked the teacher what is happening with the, the school. Parents have paid money for fencing the school and also now the school is not fenced. The school is now becoming a, a grazing area for, for a community and also the performance of the school is not well. And also when you look at the students now they are going back to school without podcast. So we involved our leadership at the district, we wrote to the district leadership and we shared our story with them. But finally, we made a resolution that, since the teacher dodged us, we made a resolution that we should go to the Ministry of Education. And indeed, I was actually given to lead the team. I was with the chairperson LC5 by then, Serere, then the area member of parliament, then the school management committee. Actually, we had the BOG representatives, then the PTA representatives, then the NA representatives. We were about six people who went to Kampala. So when we went to Kampala, we approached the permanent secretary Minister of Education and uh, shared our story with them. Then they preferred to give us, uh, actually, they recommended for a transfer of this uh, new head teacher. Unfortunately, when we got back... Immaculate Asege, a former project officer in charge of gender at Park Uganda, says working with Park Uganda as an organization opened her eyes and empowered her as a woman to become an ambassador for women on different platforms. You can look at the citizen manifesto. And what amazed me was during the time of Honorable Orot Ismail, where he embraced what a Green Top Hotel in Kumi. He embraced the citizen manifesto and said it's going to be part of my working document. And that is a political leader at his position as LOC5, the boss of a district. Because he looked at the aspirations of the citizens and he said, but this is exactly the NRM manifesto. Because he said, we are talking about good roads. And he also the citizens look up to that. We are talking about good education system. And that is what the citizens also aspire to. So he made the citizen manifesto as his working document. And that was it. something that was good because when political leaders take it up. Anatoly Biarhanga is the head of Soroti Regional Office Inspectorate of Government admits that indeed Park Uganda is complementing on government efforts of fighting corruption, pledging to have a partnership as remedy to save the taxpayers' money as Park Uganda is in process of developing its 10 years corporate strategy. Every opportunity that we get, even if it is a baraza, even if it is a radio talk show, even if it is a, 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 a district meeting, Wherever they are going to deliver these messages to, in the activities, we are willing to be with them. We are willing to participate with them to deliver, to emphasize the delivery of this message of fighting corruption to the citizens. So wherever, for us, we take it as a chance to be with them so that we can deliver this message. I am happy that PAC has a mobile van. Maybe we will also engage an approach where your van becomes active in the communities. But this time, you, you would use people who are not politicians to go access <coughs> these communities. Because when one way who goes to radio to speak on these issues, the people who listen, some of them will think I am talking because I want to vote for myself. But I think you need to have actors who are not interested in participating in getting involved in active politics to go and disseminate this information. So that they are also encouraged, they should also be one, they should be told that money is not a factor that should influence you to vote. Presence of police in that uniform should not be a factor that intimidates and influences you to go and vote a particular candidate. I think this is the time we need to do more. Particularly as the government is moving towards implementing the Paris government strategy. It, we need you more than the challenge we have for the previous programs that we have implemented <coughs> is that uh, there is a lack of times on behalf of our people. We engage in the meetings. You go to communities, you call a meeting, nobody comes. 
Then at a certain time, they will complain from. Are we getting what I'm saying? Yes. We need to mobilize our people. First of all, to appreciate that the strategies the Afro development is taking this program for them. They are not for other people. And I really feel we need to, to take this message clearly for our people. And as a government, we cannot handle it at all. So you have a lot to play. And I would like to see our next strategy actually play more in this part. Thank you. Definitely participation. We come here in the capacity of people and we discuss people's interests and opinions, the perceptions, and you allow us when you, we come here to share with you how we feel that PAC should take or any civil society in the country. You have said it before that sometimes you have been slapped on all sides. Some of us on the other side as we play football, we feel sometimes that civil society is not for us and such a fact is very partisan. Fact is very partisan because they work with the government all the time. Eh? <laughs> that is what would be our perception in the other side of the opposition. Patrick Ebajoti is one of the many community monitors Park Uganda has trained to be watchdogs of government programs in Kaduju Town Council Serere District admits that the training has helped them educate communities to use the neighbors assembly to put local leaders to task to account for public funds. I'm happy with the park. Park has empowered us as citizens. We are now able to hold our leaders accountable and uh, we have stopped a series of problems that could have occurred. You see some time back when town councils were created, we have Kadungu Town Council, Great of Town Council. There was a serious petition. But when we came in as part, we told people that no, if we didn't want these town councils to exist, we would have not voted for them, for our leader. Now, why do we vote? Then at the same time, uh, go to court for illegal petition, I mean for illegal uh, creation of those town councils. So through the support from PAC and the empowerment from PAC, we were able to neutralize the situation and people were able to understand their position. And so for now, uh, we have achieved we have the town council. Sarah Okiroi Lado is the head teacher at Cherry Secondary School in Serere District Command, Park Uganda, for the work they are doing in relation to fighting shoddy working in government projects such as schools, hospitals, among others. We constructed the gate. Uh, we had our MPs also lending a hand in this uh, completion of the fence and uh, the gate. That is Honorable Nadora Helen Abeku and Honorable Bishop Okabe Patrick. Uh, we've had to complete the hall. Um, the challenge was that we did not have the windows, not uh, painted, not plastered, and uh, your name was insisting that we would have a closed hall. Jerry Okuelo father says there is need for Park Uganda to double its effort in the upcoming 10-year strategy, adding that majority residents who have been able to get empowered by the Park Uganda Citizens Parliament know why they elect local leaders and they make sure there is transparency in most government projects. And we told them this is what we want to be done. And as we speak right now, you find that the fencing of the school is complete, fully complete with the gate, with the fence, and now the school, even the school, this, this can speak by itself because you can go to the school and find this is the administrative block, this is the office of the bazaar, this is the head teacher's office, this is the signpost, and reading, you know, that kind of writing at school. So the school has really changed. The performance of the school has really improved. The school enrollment, now we have almost a thousand and one thousand above students. Not like those days when you, we could have like 300, 500 and so on. Because now the school, the, the standard of the school was actually going low. So the school now, as we speak, 
is a boarding school. The performance have, has, in, has improved. Even when you look at uh, when you look at the fencing of the school and the view of the school, school now has a very nice environment. And parents and students are, who live at, actually the students who live at school live in a happy life. Even parents are very very excited, and it's now one of the best schools in Serere. It all came through Park Uganda and the active community members and the NA members that were trained by uh, by Park Uganda. Not only Park Uganda, even some NGOs, but through Park Uganda. Now in Kiere, where I come from, and in Serere, Kiere is actually now referred as a, 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 a like model area because every reference they can say, can you do things like the people of Kiere are doing? So when you go to Kiere right now, you don't just play around with things because people are empowered, people are sensitized. People know their rights. People uh, can engage in these government programs. That is one great thing that I, actually that is one one thing I can say about Park Uganda. Much as we have so many activities, because this neighborhood assembly even went on petitioning the district engineer over a, a contract, showed work in one of the primary schools, and they, they led to the they actually led to. Uh, uh, termination of the contract of about 56 million in one of the schools. So, you know, when you get a community where people are empowered, people know their rights, people know their duties as citizens, it's really, really very nice and it makes even the leaders, you know, it makes their work very, very simple. Executive Director Park Uganda Benson Okui Ochen says this time Park Uganda is incorporating climate change as one of the major pillars and also engage community adjacent to natural resources to use them sustainably. So for us in the next steps going forward, climate change governance, eh, natural resource management and governance is going to be one of the pillars of our strategic intervention. And definitely we need to mobilize people to preserve and conserve nature, to, to use the, the natural resources responsibly. We shall definitely engage farmers and local people not to engage in businesses that destroy our future livelihood.